Well, hello and welcome to the House of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today I'm going to be sharing with you my quick and easy tips on how to organize your closet and not only make it obviously organized, but also pretty at the same time. I hope that you are going to absolutely love this video. I think that you will. And I think that you're going to just really get a lot of tips out of this one. So make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to be sharing a lot more of these kinds of videos in the coming days, and we don't want you to miss out. So yes, hit subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. If you're like me and you just geek out over organizing, or if you're trying to get more organized, give it a thumbs up and let's jump in. I hit it with the coffee down because there's no way I'm gonna get through a closet organization video holding a cup of coffee because I just get so excited about organizing. I absolutely love it. I feel like it just makes my life a lot easier. It takes a lot of the chaos out. I can find the things that I really need. And I have found that organizing my closet, I have found a system that makes my life so much easier that I thought it would be really fun to share these tips and tricks with you. off with one of the things that so many of us really love to talk about and that is shoes. <laughs> when it comes to shoes, I love to store them out in plain sight. I like to store them with the toes facing out. It's just something that I prefer or you would need to do heels out only. I don't, personally don't like them when they face one forward and one backwards. It makes it too chaotic. So I tend to err on the side of creating more of a boutique look with my things. Even if they're jammed in, I still want to give it that boutique kind of feel. And that way I feel like when I go into my closet, I almost feel like I'm kind of shopping in some expensive boutique and it really elevates each piece in my closet. So that's why I feel like pointing the toes out and lining them up really neatly is really helpful. I also like to color coordinate. This has been such a big deal for me over the years because I didn't always do it that way. And I found that it just was kind of messy. I had a little bit harder time finding stuff so I color coordinate the shoes and I find that that really makes a big difference within that color family I also like to display them from the lightest shoe to the heaviest shoe that way some really heavy shoes aren't kind of hanging over your head and then you've got light ones down below it's just sort of a designer thing that we tend to do that we put lighter on top and heavier on bottom it's the way we decorate a room it's the way I decorate decorate the closet with my shoes as well. I also think that it's really helpful to store shoes that are not current for the season. Now, if you have a really massive closet and you can store everything all at once, you may want to have a section of seasonal shoes in that closet. But for a lot of us, we don't have room to have all that stuff out. And when I'm trying to weed through, you know, rattan shoes and sandals when it's the dead of winter, I just tend to get to where I'm like, ah, there's just too much to look through and too much to sort through. So I tend to take away the, the true summer shoes. I put those into either their box that they came in or I put them into some boxes that I put up in the top of my closet. I just bought those boxes off of Amazon that I have, but you can find them at places like Ikea. You can find them at places like the container store. I like that better than putting them in a Rubbermaid, maybe in the basement or in the attic because it's climatized. And I wanna make sure I'm taking the best care I can of my shoes. One of the other things I like to do is I like to store in plain sight and I love to use a tray, both in the bathroom and in the closet. This is an area for me where they just kind of segue between each other. And so a lot of times I've got a tray in there. I've got some flowers. Why not put fresh flowers in your closet if you've got a little area that you can create in there that really just gives your eye a break from the clothing. It'll really just dress up your space. So a little inexpensive tray like this can be found on, uh, on this one is actually from Amazon. And right at the moment, I've got the typology on there and they are our video sponsor for today. So I just wanna give them a big shout out because they are absolutely amazing skincare. And I really think about the closet in the bathroom almost as that old school kind of boudoir kind of feeling where this is the get ready area of my house and it's kind of sacred to me. And that's why I feel like flowers and my perfumes being out and preferably my skincare being out makes a really big difference. So with Typology, the packaging for Typology is absolutely gorgeous. So I love to have it out. Typology is a radical new skincare brand. So at their gathering a team of health and skincare experts, they set out to challenge the industry. That's a lot to live up to. I have found that these products live up to 
all of those promises. I also love the fact that when you're just getting started with them, the first thing you're going to need to do is take a four minute survey. They're gonna ask you all kinds of great questions about your skin and your goals. That way they're gonna match their products up to you specifically. I adore their micellar water. It is incredible. I found that the micellar water just really cleans everything off and really just gives me a fresh start. It's absolutely incredible. But also in mine, I got the cleansing gel, which again, huge difference in being able to get everything off of my face and really leaving my skin feeling clean. This face hydrating product is just amazing. It's like putting a splash of cold water on your skin. It's incredible. And for me, I also got some serums and these are incredible. I've got a morning serum. I've got an evening serum. I've got an eye serum, which is huge because it's really, really light. A lot of those heavy creams for under eye, especially as you get older, since I'm in my 40s, it's something that I'm really become sensitive about that I don't want a heavy cream on my under eye to kind of pull that skin down because it gets kind of heavy. Their serum's amazing. They also gave me a tan oil that helps me tan my skin. So Typology Paris has given me an amazing offer to pass on to you so you guys can test it out as well. So right now, if you click my link, you can take Typology Skin Diagnostic Test to receive a personalized skincare routine Plus, when you spend $30 or more on Typology's website, you will get a free Radiance face scrub with rosehip oil valued at $30 with your purchase. And when you spend $60 or more, you'll get free shipping. That is an amazing deal. I think you guys will absolutely love it. So I'm gonna leave all the details down below in the show notes. Let's talk about handbags, because that is another thing that I really like to store in plain sight. I love to treat my bags like they are a piece of art and I like to have them out on display. So for me, I personally love to have the higher up space that I have above my shoes. I love to be able to store my bags by color based off of the shoes as well. I just find it so convenient when I know I'm looking for a beige shoe and a beige bag or a white shoe and a white bag. I know exactly which tower or which section of my closet I'm gonna go to. I find it really helpful and I also think that it's really inspiring to look at my bags like that. Now some of the bags that we have don't always stand up very well and there's a couple things we can do to make our bags look even better. I have these really great risers that I bought from Amazon and I absolutely love them because I can put smaller bags on top of them and it gives me the space behind them. That way the one behind it is a little bit higher and the one below it is just a little bit lower and I'm able to see all those smaller bags. I also think it just makes them feel like it's like, it's again, it goes back to the idea of that boutique feel and making it just feel so dressed up and special. I also have these really great little hanging pieces. I have a few bags that just don't sit well. And I'm sure some of you have those too, where they just don't have a flat bottom or they don't lay properly by themselves or it's just something that you really wanna display. I love the little hanging, the little gold hanging pieces that I found on Amazon. I love to use those for those moments when you just wanna elevate something that you have. They're gorgeous and they come in lots of different colors. Another thing that I found on Amazon that I found to be really helpful are the inserts that you can put into your bags. Some bags just don't sit well. When you set them down, sometimes they can get they can kind of start to bend and kind of mush down. So I use the little inserts that you can buy, again, off of Amazon. You just put them right inside and it'll keep your bag nice and full. The other thing I like to do is just like with the shoes, I like to take handbags that are really not gonna be something I'm gonna be using for this season and I like to put those away. I'll put them back maybe in the box that they came in or I'll put them into their dust bags and put them into that those boxes that I keep talking about. I find that's a really great way to be able to store those items and again, it keeps them climatized. Let's get to clothing because I know that's the part that most of us think the most about when it comes to our closets and how everything looks. I organize by color. That will transform your life. Not only will it look pretty, but it will change your life. It'll change how you get dressed. It will make your life faster, easier. It's gonna make it more convenient. It's gonna make it also to where you know what you want and you can go and actually find it. Back in the days when I used to just hang everything just haphazardly, I would have the hardest time getting dressed. It was really difficult to find what I was looking for. If you haven't tried it, I really recommend it. You guys let me know down in the comments if you use this tactic in your own closet. Let me know if it's something that you find life altering the way I do because it's huge. I, I don't think, no. 
I would never go back to ever just mixing everything in ever again. Like today, for example, I was trying to get dressed and I was like, okay, I want a lighter top that's gonna go underneath this sweater. I knew I was gonna wear this, but I didn't know what I was gonna put underneath it. So I was able to go to my turtleneck tops, look through the light options that I had there. Then I could turn, look at my blouses and see, okay, this is exactly what I need. I didn't have to wade through everything I owned and it was perfect. The other thing that I do is that I also coordinate by category. I separate out all of my blazers, I separate the pants, and I separate out my coats. Then I will go in those categories and I will go from the lightest item, like physically, like visually lightest looking, to the heaviest. And that way it just gives me a really clean look. It helps me to be able to find, if I'm looking for a tank top, I know it's gonna be in the front of that color section. If I'm looking for a blazer or a heavier piece, it's gonna be in the back of that section. It's huge, it's gonna change your life, just try it. And then you gotta let me know if you do and if you love it. The other thing that I do is that I always hang on really pretty hangers. Part of me as a designer wanting it to be really pretty because it just looks way better than having the dry cleaners hangers, some set that you bought like five years ago, set that you bought last week, and you know, you'd end up with a hodgepodge of hangers or maybe what they came on when you bought things. I just take, get rid of all of those hangers. I actually, set, I actually donate all of those hangers that I don't keep. And then I always hang them. I really like the wood ones. I just really like the wood hangers. It's my favorite. But in my kids' closets, they have such tiny closets that they just don't have room for those. And so for them, I use those little space-saving velvety ones. Either way, all matching hangers is huge. Another few little tips that I have for your clothing area is to think about having a hamper in your space because I think that you just need to be able to have easy access when you're getting dressed to have a hamper. The one that I have now in my closet system is integrated, but there are some really cute hampers out there. I love the basket shapes. I like the ones with the lids because I don't wanna see dirty clothing. So if you don't have one that's integrated into your closet, think about getting one that does have a lid. You can shop in all sorts of places, everywhere from Amazon to places like places like Pottery Barn and uh, William Sonoma even has them. There's all different places that you can get them and they're really, really pretty and they will enhance the overall look of your space, but they will also help you to have a spot to throw your stuff so you don't feel like you need to just throw it in the middle of the floor or carry it out to wherever you're going to need to take it. I also keep these stain removers in my closet. That way I can immediately treat a stain before I put it in my hamper. I also keep the little deep pillar uh, in my closet. I just find that I really consider my closet the place where I take care of my things. So that's hanging stuff, but what about things that need to be folded? I personally like to have my pants or trousers over some hangers. I like to separate them, as I said, and I like to color coordinate those as well. I think hanging them is a really nice thing. If you've got jeans, I just stash my jeans in drawers. It's I don't feel like they have to be hung up like my trousers do. And so I just have drawers where I put those. You might have open space instead, and there's nothing wrong with just stacking them by color and making them nice and neat. Knitwear as well, go ahead and just stack and fold neatly. I find that this is just a great way of taking care of all those items. Then when it comes to smaller items, like maybe your bras or your underwear or your socks, I find that those being stored in the drawers and also using those Oh, those drawer inserts are a lifesaver. I bought my recent ones, I bought those off of Amazon. I think doing that Marie Kondo style and having them all lined up, it's a lifesaver. It really helps you to see what you have and you can get in there and get what you need really quickly. If you don't have a lot of drawers in your closet, you might wanna think about adding a dresser or a piece of storage that will act as drawers for you. I found that to be really helpful. Prior to us putting the system in, I had two dressers in there and then I hung up above that. So it's whatever, you have to kind of look at what your space is and figure out what's gonna work for you. But if you don't have those kind of drawers or you don't have that nice storage, think about adding a shelf in there that you can put your sweaters on or a piece of furniture and really utilize your space as best as you can. <music> Finally, let's talk about jewelry and accessories. Whether you've got cufflinks to store or you've got earrings and 
all of it all together. I think having the drawer inserts will transform your life. I really love those little velvety ones. I find them on Amazon or Container Store has them as well. I think it's really nice to have those because you can really separate out each of the individual items, whether it's a hoop earring or a cuff link. You, I like the ones that are divided up by category so you can place them into their little slots. I think also storing your watches in beautiful cases inside your drawer or out also is just amazing. I think those are absolutely gorgeous and they really just, they help you take care of what you have and they also make it visually appealing to look into your drawer. And it, it's organization and decorating all at the same time, which is probably why I geek out over this. That's why I think I like it so much. I'm like, ah, it's decorating and organizing. I just love it. If you don't have this drawer storage, also think about just having a really nice jewelry box. There's so many beautiful different ones out there. I think having a jewelry box, maybe with some drawers in it, maybe a lid that comes up. Uh, also those little hanging racks for your jewelry. Those are also really pretty. If you've got some pretty necklaces that you wanna display, I think those are all really nice ways to store, but also to take care of what you have. So a couple of these you can do to really make your closet feel and look really special. I like to lay down a rug in the closet. I feel like it just makes the whole space just feel prettier. If you're gonna make it all organized, why not make it pretty and just take it over the top? So a rug is a really great piece to put into your closet. I also like to have an ottoman or a stool and or. <laughs> if you're storing up high and it's not an area that you can really reach, it is nice to have a little step stool uh, just to be able to put to the side and that way you'll be able to reach everything. I like having a little stool ottoman kind of thing, just depending on your space. That way you can sit down and put your shoes on. I think having a mirror in your space is also really, really key. You might give up a little bit of storage, but usually there's a dead space in most designs. So you can utilize that space for a mirror. I also think that using artwork is a huge way of being able to make your closet just even extra special. I hope today's video has left you super inspired and ready to go and organize your closets. If you're looking for a little bit more inspiration, I suggest checking out these books. They are absolutely amazing. The Home Edit Life is a bestseller for a reason. They really share with you how to organize all the different spaces, closets, drawers, pantries, everything in this book. This other one, Beautifully Organized, is incredible because it also gives you lifestyle tips and really helps you organize your life or inside of your home. It, it's really great. I really love both of them. I really recommend them. I hope that you love this video enough that you want to hit subscribe and hang around with us. We have an amazing community. You guys are so awesome and we're just so delighted to see it growing. It's just absolutely incredible. Also make sure you check out down below. Check out the typology link that I've left for you so you can take advantage of that discount. It's absolutely amazing. I think you guys are going to love it. But also I always leave the links for the books and the items that I have featured in the video. I always leave those down below in the show notes. Thank you so much for stopping in. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Until then, bye.